Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove text or logos from a t-shirt. So this does require somewhat of a suitable photo, uh, one not an all-over print, a kind of a smaller logo where we still have a plain shirt behind it. And in order to remove it, we're going to grab our rectangular marquee tool, or if it's not a rectangle type of object, you can also just grab your lasso tool and just create a selection around that object or, or logo. Pretty good selection, but keep it tight, not too far. And then the first thing we can try is just right clicking, going to fill and choosing content aware. And when you press okay, Photoshop will automatically try to fill in that content based on what's around it. In this case, we get a perfectly seamless logo removal that will work for most cases. If there is still some small areas that don't look right, you can always select them again and try to do another content to wear fill to go around them. Or you can grab your clone stamp tool right here and choose a brush size that's kind of soft at a good size. And if you hold option, you can sample a certain area and then brush that area into other places. So that's for kind of spot removal or, or extreme touch-ups. So you might need to use a mix of both tools, but you can see in this case, in many cases, it might be as simple as just content aware. Now, what if we wanted to put our own logo in there or at least some different text or something like that? Here's just a PNG of a smiley face. Um, you can also just create text or, or shapes in Photoshop. But what I'm going to do to try to add some sort of realistic texture to this is first just save this blank t-shirt photo after we remove the logo as a PSD. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to save this as a PSD. This is going to be a displacement map that we're going to use. So I'll save that. I know where I'm saving it and I'll press save, press OK. And now when I drag in something else, like a different text or logo that I wanted to use, obviously it looks kind of flat doesn't match the texture and color of the original image. So there's a few things we can do. In this case, one of them is adding displacement to the waves of the original shirt. So I'll go to filter, distort, displace, and I'll choose something like 25. I'll press OK, and then it's going to ask us to choose the PSD for the displacement. And that's this one that I made right here. And you'll see that it kind of will warp the the logo around the contrast of the original image. You can even try to do more displacement if you need. That's kind of an extreme example. It's, it's wrinkling a bit there, a bit much. But the next thing you can do is also try to play around with the blending modes. So you can see what it might look like on darken or multiply. Looks a little bit more realistic. Uh, or, or you can also right click, go to the blending options. And in the blend if section, you can adjust these sliders to blend if the underlying layer is white or black. But the part that is really going to make it more realistic is holding option and you can split these. So you can kind of split the underlying layer blend. So you get a little bit of that white of the t-shirt coming through in a soft way. You can also do it for the black section. So now it looks less like just a PNG from a graphic and more like it was actually realistically on there. But that's just one idea. You can also go in there and touch it up maybe using the blur tool. You can blur a little bit of the edges if the original photo is blurry. That way you don't get such sharp contrast. Or you can even go to filter noise, add a little bit of noise and grain kind of like to match the noise from the photograph. You could add a thin layer of noise over the whole photograph. But those are just some ideas for you. Uh, basically, how to remove a logo and as an added advanced step, how to try to add in a logo of your own. If you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely check out some of the other Photoshop tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.